Although William Lloyd Garrison and Malcolm X lived in different centuries and were of different race, they both changed the world for African Americans. William Lloyd Garrison was a white man who lived in the 19th century in Massachusetts and for his whole life fought for civil and women's rights. Malcolm X was an African American in the 20th century who worked with the Nation of Islam and was a strong black nationalist. Despite their differences, both succeeded in making the world a better place for African Americans. William Lloyd Garrison was a writer, editor, lecturer, and abolitionist. He grew up poor and at a young age became apprentice to a newspaper editor and printer. At the age of 23, he moved to Boston and became the editor of another newspaper called The National Philanthropist. He became very involved with slavery and was once sued for libel by a slave merchant and sent to prison for seven weeks. After he was released, he began publishing The Liberator in January of 1831. With this newspaper, Garrison voiced his opinions on war, women's rights, and slavery. In the first issue of The Liberator, he proclaimed, quote, I do not wish to think or speak or write with moderation. I will not retreat a single inch, and I will be heard, end quote. This newspaper was popular among abolitionists and helped motivate anti-slavery advocates to voice their opinions, but despite the views of other abolitionists, Garrison thought that slavery should be outlawed immediately. The Liberator circulated for 35 years until 1865, when the 13th Amendment passed, abolishing slavery at the end of the Civil War. Garrison's work clearly affected the outcome of the Civil Rights Movement and led to further reforms for African Americans, such as Malcolm X. Malcolm X was a civil rights activist who promoted black nationalism. Born Malcolm Little in 1925, he grew up in poverty and moved several times because his father was constantly threatened by the KKK. Growing up in foster care, he became involved with drugs, gambling, and thievery. After going to jail in 1946, Malcolm Little learned about Islam and Elijah Muhammad, the head of the Nation of Islam. He then changed his last name from the slave name Little to the Muslim surname X. After leaving jail, Malcolm X traveled to Chicago to meet Elijah Muhammad and join the movement, where he impressed Muhammad. As Malcolm X grew more and more famous, many of the leaders of Islam were becoming jealous, including Elijah Muhammad. So after he made a remark about JFK's assassination, he was suspended by Muhammad from the movement for 90 days. After his suspension, Malcolm X left the Nation of Islam and took a long trip to Mecca and Africa, where he realized that it wasn't white people who were keeping the African Americans from succeeding. He then started two of his own organizations, the Muslim Mosque Inc. and the Organization of Afro-American Unity. Along with advocating black pride, he taught that white people were not evil, which was a large part of the beliefs of the Nation of Islam. Malcolm X was a former unlike many others. He brought younger, more radical people into his beliefs, for he was charismatic and was famous for his quote, Our objective is complete freedom, justice and equality by any means necessary, end quote. On February 21st, 1965, Malcolm X was shot by followers of Elijah Muhammad. Malcolm X, the popular one living, became even more of a radical influence after William Garrison and Malcolm X both helped African Americans. Garrison raised awareness of the unfair treatment of slaves through his newspaper articles, yet it was after Malcolm X's death the public understood his message of the need for unity, respect for African Americans, and overall better treatment of the blacks in America. These reformers changed the world for African Americans.